Okay, so we're going to learn how to do a figured base, which are numbers that we put along with our Roman numerals when we're analyzing chords. And they signify notes in the chord above the note in the base. But I'm just going to keep this very simple. I want you to do three things right now. You're going to do an analysis of a piece of music, actually a couple of them. And let's say you saw some notes and you said that's a one chord and this is a five chord. And then you had another one chord and a two chord. Just say you looked at the notes above and you're there. If, if the lowest note, okay, if the lowest note is root, in other words, the root of the chord is lowest note. I don't mean lowest in the spelling, but I mean lowest in the actual music. So when we're looking at the music and we see all these notes like this, if that lowest note there is the root, I want you to do nothing. Don't put anything in there. That's pretty easy. Okay. But if the lowest note If the lowest note is the third of the chord, then you're going to put a six. So let's say that this is a root position one chord, in other words, the lowest note in the actual way that the music is written in that stack of chords is the root. You just leave it alone. But let's say on your five chord here, your lowest note, we're looking at all these notes here, is the third of the five chord, right? the third of the chord, then you put a six right there. Don't worry about why. Just practice doing this a little bit. And then in a week, we'll look back and I'll say, here's why, and here's why, and here's why. And you'll be like, huh, okay. But in the meantime, you'll be doing this right. Next, if the lowest note in the voicing of the chord, right, is the fifth of the chord, then you put in six, four. So let's say you get to this next one chord and the lowest note in the stack of notes, and they did it, is the fifth of the chord, then you go six, four. So if the lowest note is the root, do nothing. If the lowest note is the third, write a six beside it. If the lowest note is a fifth, put a six, four. Now, this is for triads, okay? This is for triads. We're not going to worry about seventh chords right now. Don't worry about that at all. Okay, we'll learn to do this. We'll learn to see this and uh, and then you'll be good at it. And then we'll explain why in more detail than we have already, but you'll already be good at it. And once that happens, then we'll do seventh chords. Seventh chords have slightly different numbers to put with them. Um, rather than describe the whole world, just remember root is the lowest note do nothing. Third is the lowest note in the way the music is written at any given point, then you put a six with the chord number. Okay? If the fifth is the lowest note, then you put a six four stacked on top of each other. Not a fraction, just on top.